hello my beautiful Scorpios welcome to your love reading this is going to be for Scorpio Sun Moon rising and Venus signs it will be a collective general message so it may or may not resonate with you please use your discernment to figure out what messages are meant for you and what is meant to be left for someone else feel free to check your planetary placements if you find none of the messages coming through today are resonating or you can check them out just to get an overview of all energies interacting in your life at this time. If you're unsure of what those are, there is a link in the description box down below that will take you to a free natal calculator that will help you suss out that information. As always, if you're looking for something tailored to your specific situation, your energies with you and your person, please do get a private reading and for me, that information is also in the description link below along with all other important information. All right, my beautiful Scorpios, let's go ahead and jump into your reading. If you're new to the channel, welcome to my returning subscribers. Thank you for your love, your support, your likes, your shares, your comments, your donations, and reaching out for private readings. You guys are the stars this, this month, so thank you. All right, Scorpio, we are going to start this reading off by taking a look at your heart state. How are you feeling at this point in time towards love in general? Are you open? Are you receptive? Are you closed off? Are you still dealing with residue and, and energies from past relationships hurt and damage? Then we're going to take a sneak peek at the person you are here for, you have in mind, or the energy of the person that is moving towards you. All right. So that being said, let's take a look here at my Scorpios. How are they in their heart space towards love in general? I will be pulling three cards. One will be for those of you who are looking um, at reconciliation with an ex. Some of for you that are looking for Okay, so we have vows, commitment, promises, fidelity. So this is going to be those of you that are looking at, are here for an ex. Some of you are really wanting to <clears throat> fulfill the promises and commit to this person or vice versa. You're wanting them to commit to you. Some of you are wishing to get married or enter into a long-term relationship with this person. Um, for others of you, there was broken promises and fidelity, but you guys are still receptive to this person. All right, for those of you in current partnership, you, we're getting an in, intimacy, closeness, sexuality, seclusion. So I feel like things are really, really bubbling underneath the surface energetically um, with passion and desire with your, for your person at this time. So things are feeling pretty good there. Or some of you may be craving the intimacy or the closeness between the two of you. Things may be for some of you, I'm picking up a little rocky, not not a huge instability, just a little, the chemistry is a little off for some of you, but others of you, that chemistry is right on point and burning with desire. All right, and for, for my single Pringles out there, you are hoping, waiting, manifesting, and expecting. So you all, all of my Scorpios at this time are open to new love. Um, open to love in general. Your hearts are wide open. All right, let's take a look, look at the person. Our persons moving towards my Scorpio. How are they in their heart space at this time? All right, so we got the past, the ex, current partnership, please. Confusion and the single, the, the energies moving towards my single Pringles. Okay, memories. All right, so we have letting go, releasing, walking away, moving on. So this person is in the energy of release. They could be releasing some of the issues and situations that you guys have encountered that has created the, the separation between you. Some of you, this is moving on from this relationship or trying to. Um, that is the two, that's the two main energies there. All right, so those of you that are in current partnership, your partner is confused, puddled, 
puzzled, unclear, un unsettled. So they're not really sure what's going on. There should be there's some confusion. I feel for that's for some of you, like I said, that 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 chemistry is a bit off. And then those of you who have somebody new moving towards you, we have memories, bittersweet dwelling, reminiscing. So I'm getting two messages with this. This person could be being inundated with past life memories of the two of you together. And it's kind of drawing, drawing you in. And for others of you, this could be somebody that you have known for quite some time that you have a foundation with. It could be a friend, a coworker, somebody that may also, I'm getting been in your life um, in the past. And I don't mean in a romantic uh, capability here because that would be an ex. This would be somebody that was in your life at some point in time and some degree or another. And they have really good memories with you. And they're kind of looking back on that. I'm feeling like this bittersweet regret almost. Like I, I should have told this person how I felt about them. There was a chemistry between us. And I blew it. I, I didn't make my move towards my Scorpio is what I'm getting, getting there. All right. So let's go ahead and jump into the tarot. We're going to take a look at past, present, future energies for you for the person that you're most connecting with and energetically or the person moving towards you and shared energies between you. All right, guys, remember these can come through as individual messages or one long storyline. You'll have to take those messages as they resonate for you. Use your respect discernment. All right. Thank you, Spirit. All right, here we go, Scorpio. In the past, you had the Ace of Wands, the person had the Three of Swords, and the shared energy between you was the Five of Cups. Current energy, you have the Empress. Yeah, you're all about creation, new, new beginnings. I like this. They have the Fool. They're ready to take that leap of faith. Shared energy between you is the Knight of Cups. So there is love. That's sweet, taking action, sweeping you off your feet, you sweeping them off their feet or what their desire to. Um, definitely romance blooming in the air there. Future energy for you is the Six of Pentacles. For your person is Temperance. And the shared energy between you is Judgment. Overall energy, Ten of Swords. Something has come to an end or has felt final. And yes. The six of swords so some of you guys are leaving a situation behind now romantically some of you could be leaving an air sign behind a capricorn capricorn so well, there you go some of you are leaving a capricorn behind others of you are leaving a gemini a libra or aquarius in the dust here or have or was betrayed by one in some sort fashion or another all right so Let's take a look at this distant past, Scorpio. You have the Ace of Wands. So I see passion and desire. I see new beginnings and opportunities with this Ace of Wands. And I'm feeling a lot like something new may have came into your life. And you may have chosen this over this person. They have the Three of Swords. So this feel they feel betrayed you. Know, a lot of heartbreak and pain with that Three of Swords. And the shared energy, however, between you was this five of cups, sadness, regret, things feeling just out of reach and unattainable. As you can see, she's reaching for the table. She's reaching for those cups, reaching for what was lost, but just, just out of reach of her um, abilities. And then the two cups are right there, right, right there for her to grasp. All right, so what is this Ace of Wands for my Scorpio in the past? So I'm getting the Four of Cups. What else can you tell me? What else can you tell me with this Four of Cups, please? The Ace of Wands. Seven of Cups, okay, and Three of Swords. So I feel like for some of you, not all of you, a situation in the past, okay, um, a rose for you. Um, there was an opportunity, an offering that was being made to you. And you really had to examine what was already in front of you, what you would have to kind of leave behind 
in order to accept this offer. I do feel like this, we, there was a lot of passion, a lot of passionate feelings involved. Some of it could have been, you know, not always is it love or desire when I say passionate. Like anger can be very passionate. Um, a lot of the, the emotions that we go through and cycle through can be very passionate. And I feel like this is something that you were passionate about that came up for you. And there was, a, so you had many options on the table. And I feel for some of you, you chose this new opportunity, um, this project, this passion, or to follow it. Um, whatever this this new opportunity, new situation presenting itself, I, I do feel like this is something that you did examine, but ultimately accepted and moved on from from whatever this is, which created some heartbreaking pain. And it, it wasn't easy for you either. This kind of broke your heart. Now for some of the, okay, so for my, for my singles, okay, so I, what I'm seeing here is there, somebody had many options on the table, you or them, somebody was dissatisfied and unhappy in a situation and you're wanting to reunite that spark of passion but I feel like no matter how hard you tried, things were not lighting up the way you expected them to. And, or something may have sparked a new interest in you or them, which caused the two, you know a lot of heartbreak and pain. Some of you, this could have been a possible third party situation. I'm not going to ignore the, the, the matching three. So you are marrying each other here. Um, and if you guys are, you know, my singles who are not in this situation, are not in a current partnership. This very well could be um, <clears throat> your twin flame or your soulmate or somebody that you shared a past life with that is mirroring your mirroring you at this time. A lot of you are going through this through. You both had painful situations in the past. What is this three of swords for Scorpio's person, please? What is this three of swords for Scorpio's person in the distant past? Now, this in the past can be last week, last month, last year, five years ago, six years ago, ten years ago. Yep, there's Capricorn. <laughs> yeah, I see conflict. I see fighting. I see I like somebody wanted um, to come out on top of this, to reconcile the differences, to, to come through this and, and win at all costs. I feel like they're... So I've been dealing with a Capricorn, so there was some toxic situations, some of you again, third party. Um, this left this person at a crossroads. There was a decision that needed to be made here or an action that needed to be taken. And this person was more caught up in the pain than they were in the situation, yeah. And um, in the conflict, I feel like this person was striving to be right. And instead of fixing the situation or coming up with a compromise, this person was very much in their... In their emotions, again, passionate and pish passionate um, feelings driving them forward, and that's not always a good thing. And because of the pain that they were feeling or they were causing, it which created this big conflict. I see many people involved in this conflict, so I feel like it's carried over. It wasn't just between two people; it was in the being between multiple people because more than what was needed got involved. This person also could work in a public spotlight. Or in the public forum in some kind of way. All right, what is this Five of Cups shared energy between Scorpio and their person here in the past? All right, we got Leo energy coming through with the Strength card. What else can you tell me? Yeah. Oh my God, there's that conflict. So Leo could have been involved in this. Could have been family. Yeah, family got involved for some of you in this conflict, right? In the end, you both moved away. Could be a cancer. Um, and it felt, felt, I'm getting it felt temporarily good to break this communication, to break this system, this cycle, this, uh, well, lack of better words, to, to break the chaos. You're, but I feel like both of you were like, I don't need this. Too much drama. I'm out. Um, the thing is, strength card, right? I feel like both of you are being stubborn in this situation. No, or, or there was a lot of stubborn people 
in this situation. And I'm going to call you out, Scorpio. Like, that's what my job is. Both of you were being stubborn in this situation. And emotions were flying and nobody was really in control here. So the beast overran the situation, which caused a lot of regret. I do feel like there's a lot of regret between you and this person for how things went down. Um, Mr. Scorpio, this could have been for some of you telling this person that you're taking this job opportunity, um, this career path, this opening, whatever this was, it was you choosing some a different path, a different situation. And this person obviously got hurt, their feelings hurt, felt like you were abandoning them, abandoning the relationship, which I don't think you had the intention to do. Um, some of you, you might have been calling it quits and ending things because of it. And for a lot of you, I feel about that this is about in the ending of a situation, which created a lot of conflict. And of course, they didn't want to fight the battle alone. So many people got involved, including family, and um, created this to be an even bigger issue than it was really needing to be. At the end of the day, I do feel like you went your separate ways here. All right, current energy for my beautiful Scorpios. What is this Empress energy, please? Show me clearly and precisely what is this Empress. Well, that is way too many. We're not taking all of those. What is this Empress energy, please? Yeah. And there's our manifestors. <laughs> So some of you are emotionally ready to move towards what is going to be an alignment. You're trying to create a new beginning. You guys are trying to um, manifest commitment and long-term partnerships here with the higher font. We have the magician, the eight of cups, and the tower. So I feel like you guys are are working hard to rebuild a foundation that was torn down to restore and rebuild after a hard cycle, which we see up here. Um, some of you walked away to find something that was more emotionally fulfilling. You may not have found it. You may have thought you found it in someone, something, a situation, but you didn't. But now you're in the creation mode. You are creating and manifesting, which we see here. You're trying to manifest this person or a new person or love in general back into your life. Something that's going to be long-term, traditional, very, and very much endure, endurance here. Could be a cancer, but yeah, there it is. You're wanting victory and to move forward to where you really want to go and love. And where you want to go, it seems to be, it seems to be towards someone that's, yeah, towards a cancer. <laughs> For some of you, it's towards a cancer. All right, so what is this bull? For Scorpio's person. Okay, so we have King of Wands here, Leo Sagittarius Aries energy. King of Swords. The King of Swords. All right. And the Death card, Scorpio. Okay. So some of you, not all of you, right? This person wants a new beginning as well. It could be a air sign, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be, again, the fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I feel like, regardless, there is multiple people here. And the Ten of Swords in the middle. So this person wants to take a leap of faith, right? But they want to make sure that all previous engagements and entanglements are finished. They have gotten hurt, whether this is a new love, a past love, a partnership. Some of them I'm hearing is, this has to do with work, a work situation where they suspect something is going on or was going on or a boss that they don't trust. They want to make sure that there's nothing going on there. There's a little bit of confusion. They're a little bit puzzled about, about your interactions with this person. It's a, it's somebody's in leadership role. I am definitely hearing that very clearly. That's in the leadership role here. They're wanting to take a leap of faith and trust the situation. But I'm going to be honest with you. They're, they, I, I feel like if this, if you're in a partnership and your person dealt with third parties in the past, they're a little, they're a little quicker to go there now because of fear. This is, this is a wound that they need to heal. 
right? And it's very easily triggered. And I, I, I feel like for some of my Scorpios, that's what's going on with your partner. Is they're triggered here. For some of you that are in separation for an, of an ex, this person want, is considering taking a leap of faith back towards you, but they want to make sure that you're not involved with somebody else. What it, what it was that what happened there? If you were the one that was stepping out in the situation or moved on to somebody else out right after you broke up, they're wanting to make sure that that it's over. If you chose a uh, job over over them, they're wanting to make sure that that's not going to happen again. This person is being cautious. New love, this person is wanting to take a leap of faith. They may need to end something before they can do that. All right, and you are showing up here at the bottom of the deck, and we got Sagittarius right behind that. So I feel like this is bringing things into balance. They are trying to bring things within them and within the connection into balance. Yeah. Right there. What is this Knight of Cups energy? Please show me clearly and precisely. What is this Knight of Cups energy? Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There is love here. And if you have not yet met this person, there is going to be a very much an outpouring of love. And the possible, yeah. Beautiful. Clarity where heartbreak and pain is concerned. Um, a lot of love, a lot of potential for happiness and, and long-term stability here. And clarity. This would be a truthful new beginning, which means that integrity and honesty needs to be in place, whether this is for those with an ex, with a current partnership, or with a new love to move forward in the situation. Be leery of the sweep you off your feet, the temporary rush of endorphins that does not go the distance okay because that can easily happen here if there is not the roots put into the situation there needs to be open communication everybody needs to be on the same page there needs to be no hidden agendas hidden elements hidden feelings on any level for anyone involved in the situation i'm hearing 100 percent brutal honesty is needed in this connection or you're going to end up repeating the cycle of heartbreak and pain. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at future energies coming into the situation with the Six of Pentacles. What is going on here? I see balance being restored. Equal reciprocity. Things finally. Yeah. There's judgment. You are casting judgment. Emperor, Aries energy, and the Knight of Wands, Sagittarian energy. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Sagittarius. All right. So I feel like, here we go. You're willing to take action if this person is ready to step up to be your, your emperor. Ready to, you're ready to take action if this person is ready to take action. Because the bottom line to this is you want things to be equal, balanced, and fair. You're not willing to give any more to a connection where the other you're the only one doing the working and giving. You want this person to be just as involved and take just as much action and responsibility in this relationship as you. Or you'll remain single and move on. No secrets. No secrets, as I'm hearing. No secrets. All right, let's take a look at your person coming through here with Temperance, Sagittarian energy. What is going on with this Temperance here? Future energy, please, for that Scorpio's person. Knight of Wands. So they're, come, they're wanting very much to come in with a love offer to sweep you off your feet, or they, they have come in. Yeah, the, the Empress. They're seeing you as their Empress. They're wanting to... Temper the energies, heal the situation, bring love back into the situation with their empress. They see you as, yep, their, their divine feminine, their, their divine counterpart. Whether you're here as a masculine or a feminine, female or male, does not matter. We both attain both energies within us. And the difference between the two is the masculine takes action, takes initiative, takes control. The Empress is the dreamer, the nurturer, the creator, but not the go-getter. 
He sets and allows things to flow to her. And um, I feel like this person has set the tension. They are coming towards you. They, they are waiting. There is a period of waiting. They're waiting for something here, but they want to come forward. They want to create. They're looking at long-term stability, being victorious, but they are a little bit guarded and a little bit up in their head about trusting in you enough to take this, this leap of faith with you. What is this judgment? Shared energy between my Scorpio and this person. Okay, Knight of Swords. The higher font, very nice. And the star, beautiful. Aquarian energy there. Okay, so all everything happens in divine timing. And that is a message that I got early into this reading. Um, so this is all comes down to divine timing. Things may not have worked here before. You may have to walk away, take a different project, take move. Whatever the situation was for some of you, some of you had to leave the situation because it was not the time for this. That's why it was just within reach but not obtainable. And there was deep grieving feelings of loss. This is where you have went and thought you were going to find that happiness and emotional fulfillment, but you found yourself coming up short. This was all working you towards some of you coming back together. That's why judgment is here. Um, definitely universal interference in this connection. Judgment between the two of you is making that final judgment call. Can you release the past? Can you release the impulse, you know, and the impulsity and instability where things happened at a lightning speed and had no rhyme and reason that things that were upside down and turned around and the hurt and the pain and the suffering from the past can you honestly talk about it make peace with it and release it that is the question at hand is family values and commitment a possibility will your dreams come true with this person that is what the both of you are looking at here in the future and it all comes down to really evaluation can you overcome the obstacles that are in your way the obstacles that this relationship has created can you come together in partnership and that is the biggest thing can you persevere i think you can i think a lot of you can persevere and move this into a long-term steady partnership but things have to be fair and balanced there can be no more deceptions when it comes to the love between you and which is going to require very passionate and open communication to build that long-term foundation and stability and you both have to put in the work for you to be happy beautiful guys very 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 beautiful all right i'm going to pull a couple of romance angels on this spread and see what's going on for my scorpios please scorpio sun moon rising venus romantic relationships what do we have going on messages advice and guidance for my scorpios at this time please show me clearly and precisely thank you bottom of the deck we're getting romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring <clears throat> we have make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're being guided to take keep an open mind your soulmate may be different from your usual type or expectations some of you i feel like this is your new love coming towards you I don't necessarily know that this person is going to be your usual type and you're going to find that your attraction to them is kind of annoying I'm hearing annoying you're like you're going to be like ah, I don't even I don't even know why I keep thinking about such and such he's it's just so annoying um it's because I don't know why I feel this and you're going to be aggravated um, by the feelings that come up in you. So keep an open mind. Um, sometimes when we set our, you know, we set preconceived notions about what we really want and spirit is saying, and the universe is saying, mm -mm. They, we always send them to you and what you truly need, not in your ideal image. And some of you, again, this situation involves marriage, whether you were married to this person 
well, you want to be married to the person if you're engaged or they were married or you were married or if there was a married situation somewhere involved in this that some of you may be getting engaged and getting married we see that commitment is being um considered and judge being judged here in the future all right my beautiful wonderful scorpios please let me know in the comments down below if this message resonated with you if not again please do check those other planetary placements if you have not yet done so please hit that like and subscribe otherwise i will see you guys next time please remember to live in light and love namaste bye for now